Ready to go? Ha ha ha. Fusey fuse. What's up, baby? It's Max here, Two Big Letters Small Guy. We're playing Emoji Tower. I'm delighted. I'm going to start with the shoe. This looks nice. What do you do to exercise? Honestly, I um, it's kind of ridiculous, and my wife makes fun of me for, a lot for it, but we're on the road a lot, so I dance a lot. But whenever I feel like I haven't worked out, I do a lot of push-ups in bathrooms of restaurants and weird places. That's real, for sure. And she always knows when I've done it. Like, I'll come back to the to the dinner table, and she'll be like, did you just do, like, push-ups in the bathroom? And I'm like, yeah, I did. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. So anyway, that's that. I'm going to go for Sunny right here. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna go for Sunny. Here we go, we got this cutie. What message do you want people to get from your music? That's a beautiful question. The main song right now is a song of mine called Lights Down Low, and I wrote it for my wife, and I proposed to her with it. Being married and being open about it, we were actually talking before the interview, I was sort of secret married for a while, and one of the most amazing things about being open about it is that, you know, I'm still insecure, we all are, but being with, with my, my soulmate and my best friend, I'm way more secure to wear ridiculous things and kind of be myself, and, and that's something that I always want people to embrace as well. No matter if they want to wear ridiculous things or they want to wear just black whatever and a big thing we always say with lights down low is that you know the song represents love for us and love in every way no matter if you're transgender bisexual you're straight you're gay it doesn't matter it's like it's all about love and love should be a human right always so that's a message that we always want people to take from our music next up we got cool guy face Ah, I like it. Who is the coolest artist in your phone's contact list? That's a great question. I'm delighted that there are rad artists that inspire me every day. One is playing today, the homie Lil Uzi Vert. He's polarizing. He's amazing. I've been friends with him for a few years. We were on the Boys of Summer tour a couple years ago with Wiz Khalifa and Fall Out Boy. I have this weird side project called Wichita with Tim Armstrong from the band Rancid. If you're aware of the band, you know that they're the most authentic and always staying true to their music. And I love Tim because whenever I'm getting weird or down about like the pop music world, I think about Tim and he's always loving what he's doing, you know? Like when we formed the band, it was like he was an 18 year old kid again. So he's always inspiring me and I love him. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to this pause. What do you do when you have writer's block? That's a great question. I just like to, to get out of whatever room it is, get out of whatever studio and and just sort of experience more. You know, I think it's really easy to, to get stuck in a writing place and beat yourself up about not getting it. Sometimes the best ideas come when you're on an airplane or you're <clears throat> walking the park or whatever else. So I try to just leave it alone and know that it'll flow when it flows. All right, I'm gonna do this timer because I got it. What is the longest song on your latest album? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I really need to like, I'm such a like a like a three to four minute song guy. I really need to get on my like 12 minute song game because I feel like you gotta have one, you know? That's the move. I feel like the longest song was probably like four minutes and 30 seconds. So next one, uh, I'm just gonna do like a 25 minute song somehow. I promise at some point that will happen. And guys, I've been waiting to do this last one for a while and I'm sorry to the whole crew that I'm sure we'll have to pick up my mess but this purple like just slaying character down here he was the first guy on my mind so let's see what happens um here we go here we go <laughs> hey which of your tracks is the best to dance to wonderful question one of my favorites to dance to is a song called holla and we did this i have a group called party pupils as well and and my partner ryan did a remix of it so it's always fun and you know what it feels like the right ending i'm gonna do the dance it goes like this Thank you, Fuse. Bye. Fuse's coverage of Lollapalooza is brought to you by Twix. It's time to decide which side are you.